actually something I'm not allowed to have. What is that? It's a uh, dried apple with cinnamon. What is happening guys? In this video I'm heading to, to the amazing land of Greece with so much history and so much beautiful things to do. I'm filming with Maria Wattel. We are talking about her bodybuilding career and the life in Greece. I hope you guys can watch this video all the way to the end and I really appreciate your support. Please comment below your thoughts and Press thumbs up, subscribe for more. Thank you. Uh, Caridia with the walnut on top. Uh, the Mello Macarona. Uh, it's with cinnamon and honey and uh, walnut. And then we have it here with the um, chocolate over the. That looks all good. That's so good. That's like, you don't know. It's like a party day your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Do you consider yourself half a female? I do. Hands down. So I you have a bow for the queen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hands okay. Hands so down. what are the examples of um, alpha female and what kind of features it requires to be a genuine alpha female? Because I know there's a lot of people who kind of claim to be or maybe pretend to be, but it's something uh, you cannot fake. No, you cannot fake that and as soon as somebody says or hashtags alpha female, I'm like, yeah, and then some. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, when you're... The clue, and this is for men and women, so let's, let's just... Yeah. Let's just, say, let's just take a general, alpha, so also for the male. These people will not brag about it. We will not say anything, we will not do anything, because we don't have to. Because the fact is, if you're an alpha, when you show up someplace, people feel that. They, they can even smell it, if you want to say it like that. For male and female, that's the same. And 
alpha goes, uh, it's about mindset. It's about what goes on in the mind. It's not about how somebody is more physically. It's about a mindset. So even a smaller woman can have a mindset of an alpha and she can be an alpha. It doesn't per se has to do with the outside appearance. Um, but the mindset is fast. Alphas are very fast. They think in solutions. They are usually three to four steps ahead of what all the other people can see already. That's about it. And if a push comes to shop, they're very impressive. So there's something to watch out for. When push comes to shop, alphas, they will step in and they will become highly aggressive. But before it goes to that, it takes like a long time. Okay. First time when I arrived here, it was like normal. The smell of the foods, the talks on the street, uh, the music, it was like normal. Right, natural. Was, yeah, because I was used to working in a restaurant for 10 years. And um, I mean, that was up until, you know, 20 years ago or something. Yeah. But, uh, when I arrived here for the first time, it was like almost like coming home. Yeah. It was so weird. It was the, the most weirdest. Yeah. It was like, how do you deal with the people talking? And, and I'm like, wow, I was 10 years with people there. Yeah. So. That's fun. That's awesome. Right? So tell us more about how it's like to compete in the women's physique. This is one of the most competitive category now and one of probably one of the fastest growing as well. Um, we were talking about the diet just a while ago. I know a lot of guys, they don't have any kind of idea what your body is going through when you're on a very tough diet. Um, your sleep is a bit shit. Uh, your yeah. brain's not working. Uh, even just talking can become difficult too, and, and or writing too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you wanna, you yeah, you can't get a word out of your mouth, you know, because yeah. You know the cartoons with the doggies when they see a squirrel. Yeah. It's like squirrel. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, yeah. I don't even know what the fuck I was that's, doing. That's that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's tough. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, you don't have. Uh, yeah, the brain. Um, your 
brain doesn't shut down, but it shuts down at a certain point when your body fat is really low. Uh, it shuts down certain functions you don't need. I mean, the function that the brain needs is to, it's the subconscious stuff that you keep on breathing, yeah, <laughs> your yeah, heart yeah. rate keeps going. Yeah. Because uh, you should think like it's something that the body does naturally, but it needs some sort, sort of brain functions and hormones, you know, to do all of the functions you basically need to, to live. Yeah. Uh, but diet, people don't understand diet. People, when you say to people I'm on a diet, they think you eat some vegetables and that's about it. And what are you complaining about? Because it's just a diet. I've done a diet. But women's physique or bodybuilding diet, it's very extreme. It's very extreme. Um, and yeah, in the end, you're going to be like, you don't sleep as much. Uh, sometimes you start dreaming weird because, you know, that, that, that comes with the competition jitters. I don't know if any other competitor knows it, but about, when you're about a week out or two weeks out, you start having these weird dreams about the competition. <laughs> And you just forget things. You just forget things. Yeah. For me, when I, when I see all you competitors out there on the stage, it's it's a competition, of course, but it's also a kind of celebration that yeah. you guys all made it alive and you came in the best shape you could. You worked hard. Um, you trained hard. You all beautiful with the makeup and the hair. That's and how I see it. Yeah. It's like the end. That's all that you're already over the finish line. Yeah. The day that that you wake up and you have your competition, that's like you're already past the finish line. Yeah. It's not the competition itself. It's like making it to the day, to the event, and not having any uh, fuck ups. Yeah. And that's what I always say when I see all these competitors on the stage, on the comparisons. Um, I don't care about the placings. For me, it's an, one of them are champions to me, you know, like, it's, that's how I see it. And it's a beautiful thing. Um, what's the vibe in the competitions? Like, do you guys sometimes talk? Do you guys share some tips? Um, is there much of a community there? Or do you just focus on your own thing? That's for each competitor uh, different. So for me, I don't really mingle with people, but that's me as a person. Uh, so I don't really mingle with other competitors. Only maybe after the show, or maybe when you're backstage and you know your first the prejudging is over, then you know you might uh, say hello or speak to somebody or hey, I've seen you on the Instagram. Um, but for me personally, I don't really mingle with others. Uh, I'm just not <laughs> much of a team player. I just do my own thing. Um, a lot of the other girls will mingle with each other. I've seen that. Or when they know each other from the same country, they will hang out together. So yeah. Uh, but in general, I think all the women have a good... Um, a good positive uh, connection with, with other competitors. Yeah. They're always very positive about you know the person who's standing next to you on stage or in another division. We're very positive women in general. That's good. Except for the women's physique, for the female bodybuilders, there's a very positive attitude overall. The vibe is good. That's good. Um, but yeah. It depends if you like to make Yeah. Yes. That's right. But in the end, you guys all come there for one reason. Yeah. To compete. And, of course, everybody wants to win. That's that's the um, whole thing. And that, that's it, you know, like... I don't know everybody wants to... Of course, you want to win. I would say, of course, you want to win. You have to be a realistic, too. Yeah. And I think if you want to win that bad, are you really going to be friendly to your other competitors? I mean, there's going to be... If you really want to win and you see it as the competitive sport then there's not much to 
smile about or to, or to mingle. Yeah, I mean, bodybuilding has always been a little bit selfish sport. In, I mean, in, in a good way. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, selfish. Really, um, because um, some people just take it too far. And that's that's when people say they're selfish. When you uh, when you don't go to parties because you have your diet, it has nothing to do with selfish. This just has to do with priority. And but I think a lot of people on the outside see things as priority as selfish. Mm. So I think there's 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 some things to say about that. Yeah. Um, Selfish. Well, it's um, it's an individual sport. You're very much in your own kind of bubble. Yeah. So then and you have to be in that bubble. You have to be, and people will see that as selfish. Yeah. And it's not. You're just in your focus and in your bubble. Mm. If you're not inside of the community, or the, or if you don't really understand the bodybuilding community, I think people will label it as selfish. Yeah.